And we're now here with Mark Pavlik after Penn State was able to get the win against USC. And Coach, you know, how would you assess your team's performance tonight being able to get the win in five? Well, it's, it's a grittiness that I think we've been uh, looking for over the past 16 months or so. Uh, you know, we, we had an easy win in game two and everything just kind of went our way. In game three, you know the Trojans are going to come back. And they socked us in the nose. And that was, game four was where I really wanted to see how we would react. I, I, I thought... Freshman setter, freshman opposite, let's see what happens. Boy, did they elevate their play. And, uh, it, it was like, this is where they belong. So uh, it was good to see. Really pleased with the grittiness that we showed. Yeah, and talking about Calvin Mendy, you know, 20 plus kills tonight, you know, from you on the sidelines, you know, what were you able, what were you seeing that was making him so successful tonight offensively? Uh, I think Luke is finding the shape of the set that Cal wants. I think Cal's realizing he's seven foot tall. And you know, people in front of him, he's starting to understand that they're a minor annoyance. And uh, it, his future is so bright. I think that if we can keep him in good situations where his confidence keeps to so keeps soaring, that when we need him in bad ball situations, he's going to be feeling pretty good about himself. And you know, on the other side of the net, you know, um, Luke, Lucas Yoder played had a great game for USC. What is that like as a coach? You know, when you have a guy just going off and trying to find ways to slow him down. You know, that was I think the whole thing you know, over the last games three, four, and five. It was where was number twenty-five. Let's get in front of him. Make sure you know where he was at. You know, the last swing he took, the Bick in game five. We had a solid three-man block in front of him. Good hitters are going to find ways to score at times. Sometimes good blockers are going to win that battle, but you just got to stay on them. And Lucas is one of those guys that he just, he's fun to watch, he competes hard, and, you know, Gert gets in the ball in some great situations. And how valuable is it not only to play a good opponent early in the season, but for it to go five if you're, for your young team to experience that? Yeah, I think any five-game match, win or lose, you go through a range of emotions. You go through a range of different pressures, external, internal. Uh, you, you ask for different... Uh, guys to step up with different contributions at different times, but the times in retrospect become very crucial. And, and I think a five-game match for a young team this early in the season really allows them to feel the, the depth of their experience as it is right now and gives them something to build on. And final question for you, is this victory any sweeter given how the Rose Bowl ended? Boy, you know what, it seems like whenever USC and Penn State together, gets together, the scoreboard fills up, doesn't it? Yeah, we what, 100 and something to 100 and something over the points tonight. So, uh, yeah, I, I think this is one. Hey, anytime you get the Trojans and, and the Nittany Lions on the court in the field, in the pool, it's a great battle. And I just love competing against these guys. Coach Nygaard is going to have that team moving in the right direction. And, uh, it's so much fun to play these guys.